19-year-old Jake Nicolopoulos was a standout football player in his hometown of Anderson, South Carolina, with dreams of playing for the Clemson Tigers. In Jake's junior year, offers started rolling in. Kentucky, Vanderbilt, Stanford, Cal Berkeley, and we're just excited and amazed, but still, Jake wanted an offer from Clemson. Jake's dream came true while he was still a junior, with a full ride offer from Clemson University. Just a few months before signing day, though, tragedy struck when Jake suffered a massive stroke. Jake was getting ready to walk out the front door. He just looked at us and opened his mouth, but no words would come out. And the right side of his body was starting to give way. I felt like I knew in my heart that I was losing him. He was taken to Ann Med Regional Hospital. The neurologist brought our family back to um, his office, showed us the latest scans, and informed us that the chance of survival did not look good at this point. This group of neurologists have seen 3,000 strokes in 10 years. This was the second adolescent stroke they had seen. A major part of Jake's cerebral artery was blocked, causing serious swelling and significant damage to the left hemisphere of his brain. Doctor said we got to take a large piece of the skull cap out to allow for swelling. I said, Doc, do whatever you got to do. He says he won't be able to play football if we do this. I said, hey, we're not thinking about football right now. We're thinking about life, okay? If that's what you got to do, let's go do it. Jake survived the surgery, and after 13 days at Ann Med Hospital, he was stable enough for the next phase of recovery. They started informing us that there would be a time, and the time was coming soon, that Jake would need to be moved to a rehab hospital. And we did not have any idea where to go to. And very clearly, we were told by people who had experience there, don't look any further, just go to Shepherd. When we initially got to Shepherd, they told us there was a team of, I think it's like 15 or 16 people that are gonna be over us and Jake. We thought, Wow, we didn't know what a rehab hospital was, but we knew he was in a hospital bed and they were treating him for uh, any medical needs, but there was also a, a, a tug of war to get him out of that bed to get him on the rehab gym. One of the things that was so appealing to us about Shepherd was, let's remember Jake was 18 years old. It meant so much to him to be surrounded by other young people who were all going through the struggle that he was going through. Strokes are rare among young people, but a lot of progress can be made with early treatment at a specialized rehabilitation facility. At Shepherd Center, we treat more young stroke patients than most other facilities, and actually we see roughly 75 young people each year, up to age 21, who have other types of brain injury. Jake Nicolopoulos was a great candidate for our Young Stroke program because of his age and overall excellent health. Jake started getting better. His endurance increased, his abilities increased, and he was wheelchair bound when he first got there. One day I'm walking down the hall and all of a sudden I see Jake up on his feet walking. There's a PT down working with his leg and a PT working his left shoulder and a, another PT, you know, with a gait belt, you know, and I'm going, you talk about a happy day. That was a happy day. Jake's damage to his left brain hemisphere causes him difficulty with movement and motor skills on the right side of his body. He also has aphasia, which makes it hard for him to communicate his thoughts and to read. This requires patience from those who interact with him. At 20 minutes? Yeah. yeah. 20. Nice. I'm done. You're done. The good news is that many aphasia patients can recover some or most skills by working with a speech and language therapist like Jake continues to do. This rehabilitation can take two or more years and is most effective when begun as quickly as possible after the stroke. We have been educated on therapy. The person that I was before this stroke, I wanted everything to happen like that, everything to be okay. But something that is so important 
when you're going through rehabilitation is to set small goals. And when they accomplish that goal, you celebrate it. When Jake came into therapy, they wheeled him in in a stretcher. Jake walked out of Shepherd inpatient six weeks later. They did their job. They did a great job. After graduating from Shepherd's inpatient program, Jake went to Pathways, an outpatient and residential program of Shepherd Center, located minutes from the main hospital. Pathways enables patients like Jake to do more intensive physical, occupational, and speech therapy, as well as to relearn and practice daily living skills. With his family nearby, Jake spent nearly three months there before being released to go back home. It was more like a real life situation. It was a tremendous step forward for us and for him on his way to being independent. We were really encouraged by the support Jake got from his family and their commitment for additional therapy at home and beyond. It's so important that our patients continue to do all they can once they leave Shepherd for maximum lifelong recovery. Shepherd does a great job but they are just getting you ready for the battle. The real work begins when you leave Shepherd and go out into the world, you go out into the rest of your life. How's it going? Ready? Let's go. I'm more of a motivator, I just get him going. Just keep him focused on the goal and what we can accomplish. His weight's down, his strength's up, and he's real motivated. So I think it's his attitude, too, is changing. And sometimes he'll call and say, you know, what do you think? And I'm like, come on, let's do this. Let's, let's get together. You know, I talk him into coming, and he tries to talk me out of coming. And together it works. We, we make this work. So, but he always comes. Good set. Anything's possible. Anything we put our mind to is possible. It's a team effort, you and me. Three days a week. <laughs> the last day at Shepherd, they, they gave us some pull instruction, and that was wonderful. He really couldn't do much at the time in the pull, but I knew at some point our pull was going to come in handy. Shepherd gave us a lot of these ideas from uh, that, just that one day in the pool, and Jake really liked it. It felt good. You know, it's been a long time since he's been in the water. All right, let's bring it up over your head, all the way over, all the way up. Stretch it out there, buddy. When you leave Shepherd, you're, you're not untethered, okay? There is help waiting for you. They welcome you back. They want to see you back. Clemson stepped up to the plate day one. And it wasn't just one day, two days. I mean, they were there texting, talking on the phone, wanting to know what was going on. They, they played an active role in this. They honored his scholarship, and they said it does not matter how long it takes for him to recover, that scholarship would be waiting for him. To prepare to start Clemson a year later than his peers, Jake went back to Pathways for an evaluation to help the university assist him learn and communicate. He'll use tools like a phone program that reads to him. With Tiger offensive line coach Robbie Caldwell, he's a pretty good coach. And have someone shadow him in class. While unable to play football, Jake is looking forward to being a student coach for his beloved Tigers. I am going to Clemson uh, the fall. You can see here where his skull had been removed in order to allow the swelling of the brain. This whole dark area is the dead brain tissue. That's pretty hard to look at. I like to focus on the area that's not dead. And that's where our hope is the new pathways will be formed in the healthy part of the brain tissue. We've got a tremendous amount of hope. Jake's got a lot of abilities. We just need to continue to work. Shepherd, the local hospital supported us, community supported us. We can't look back and we won't look back. We'll look forward because Jake has the rest of his life ahead of him.